but here's all of the parts that I probably need to build um, the little homebrew computer and so I want to guide you through uh, this today um, simply because uh, I have all of the parts now so here is the perf board um, we'll get to that later here is the flash and uh, gull chip programmer um, we will need that also with the USB port um, to connect to the computer and write the flash ROM uh, for the computer to boot with. Here I have different oscillators um, so that I can run in different um, at different speeds. That's four megahertz and eight megahertz. Uh, then this is uh, for pulling out um, chips. This was part of the flash programmer so that you can use different um, formats with the driver CD. Here is the um, FT245 uh, which is uh, converting the 8-bit signal to a serial uh, USB signal um, so that I can uh, connect via serial uh, with the homebrew computer. Here is something I'm dreaming of. Uh, it's actually a USB host um, for Arduino uh, with a chip um, that can act as a host, uh, for example, for a keyboard. And I was dreaming of uh, putting a little um, uh, Arduino on top of here so that I can connect this directly to the homebrew computer uh, and have a direct connection with the keyboard. Here is the actual um, 68,008 uh, chips. I have three of them because I'm gonna burn them, <laughs> probably. Um, yeah, these came from AliExpress. Uh, then there is different uh, sockets. And finally we have here um, all of the chips. So that's the uh, 74 series 244, which is a buffer and line driver. Uh, I think it's um, for connecting the RAM and um, uh, the flash. That's the 7432. Uh, these are OR gates. Um, the 08, these are AND gates. Then here is the uh, 377 which is um, flip-flops and then we have um, the demultiplexer uh, that's also for the RAM and um, flash chips as far as I understand here we have uh, the OO which is a non NAND gate um, these are four um, RAM chips, uh, 4 megabit uh, times 8. Uh, I have 4 of them, so that's uh, gonna be um, 2 megabytes, but um, with the 68,008 I just need one, but I thought, you know, if I order them uh, and pay the whole shipping thing, then I have uh, 4 of them. Yeah, and so here is the flash, um, 4 megabit as well, 4 of them. And uh, finally, we have these magic uh, GAL chips programmable logic. So you can write your own logic to these instead of using uh, the ORs and NANDs and so on. Uh, I wish, wish I would have actually um, none of these and really uh, use the Flash programmer uh, for the Flash itself uh, without working myself into the GAL chip uh, thing. Uh, because that's uh, simply too far away from me. And finally, um, I think it's worthwhile to discuss these perf boards uh, because they have a very nice um, feature, namely that you have these triple uh, connections here. So the logic would be to, you know, have the CPU here and a RAM chip here 
so that they are connected directly and I don't have to use wires to connect them. And uh, if you have three holes, then you can in the middle um, also use a wire to connect them to the flash. So that would be the CPU, the RAM, the flash, and I just need these eight uh, address lines as well as the um, data lines connected. Um, but the primary uh, chips might be connected uh, in this way. I hope that this is more efficient than connecting everything with wires, uh, but let's see. Uh, I think that was the best uh, trade-off between breadboards and um, really designing my own PCB because I don't want to get into that already, so maybe this is gonna work. Okay, so that's uh, it for the bill of materials. Uh, thanks for